but maybe let's let's talk about this. That's a good one. Oh, hey, you're just in time. Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today we're gonna have another Hightail discussion, but we're gonna talk about some topics that I feel haven't really gotten much coverage. But before we start, I just wanna mention the sponsor for today's video. ServerPro is a professional online hosting service with free and premium options for Terraria and Minecraft servers. But additionally, they are now excited to announce that they will also be offering Hightail servers when the game releases. So check the link in the description or go to server.pro slash Hightail to start a free account or sign up to receive email updates about the status of their Hightail servers. And with that, the first thing we're going to cover is the importance of how Hightail designed their cosmetic creation system and how that compares to Minecraft. So personally, after designing my own skin in Minecraft, I found it really strange and unintuitive to try and work with a flat image. It was difficult to grasp how my changes in 2D were affecting the 3D look. And whenever I wanted to check, I had to upload and restart the Minecraft client every time. Now, assuming Hytale will allow you to create skins and cosmetics using the model maker, the process should be a lot easier. You'll likely be able to create and edit your cosmetic items on a 3D model and be able to make all your changes in real time. That said, the texture resolution in Hytale is also much better as well. While people have done incredible things with the limited amount of pixel real estate they have when designing Minecraft skins, the higher resolution art style in Hytale should allow artists and creators to make skins and cosmetics that are much more detailed and expressive. Oddly, I also noticed that some of the skins on skin decks weren't full skins at all, and they were just bits and pieces or small cosmetic items. So clearly, some people aren't interested in making entire skins, but would rather just make small cosmetic items instead. And almost any item could fall under this category, from hats and hair designs to shirts and even shoes. But of course, once these items are made, how do you share them? Great question. In Minecraft, the only way to really share cosmetic designs was through websites like Skindex or through downloaded mods that could be installed on Minecraft's client. But in Hytale, it looks like these items will be shareable via the model maker and maybe even through an in-game interface of some type, making it a lot easier to share your creations with your friends and the public. Now, speaking of creating and sharing, do you remember that discussion that I wanted to save from last video? Out of the 22 paragraphs, over half of them directly talked about how these tools can be effective for modders and creators. This is actually super important, but I want to save this discussion for another video. Well, here's where we pick up. I know a lot of people, myself included, have been comparing Hytale directly to Minecraft, but I don't think that's really the full story here. So I'd like to take a step back and compare Hytale to a completely different game, Little Big Planet. If you're not familiar, Little Big Planet is a 2D puzzle platform game that has a main storyline which revolves around a cute little protagonist, the Sackboy. But where it really shines is in its creative potential. The majority of the game is actually built around the creative mode, where you can create your own worlds and levels. Think Minecraft meets Mario Maker. In fact, I think the story mode almost exists exclusively as a showcase for what you can do with the tools at your disposal in creative mode. So now let's approach Hytale with this mentality. I'm sure Hytale story mode will be incredible, but seeing how often the developers keep emphasizing the creative tools of Hytale, I can't help but think the game is being designed not just as a standalone title, but as a building block for other games to spring out of, kind of like Little Big Planet. But on top of that, I think we can take it a step further. You see, while Little Big Planet had these really creative tools, what it didn't have was the ability for you to step in and do scripting and coding. And as you certainly know by this point, you'll be able to freely script and modify your own Hytale servers to possibly create full-on new games. The potential here is huge. And lastly, because servers play such an important role on how Hytale mods are gonna be facilitated, I feel like the servers have really been overlooked as far as discussion goes. Because unlike Minecraft, mods cannot be applied to the game client itself. Rather, they can only be used on servers. Now don't worry, if you just want to connect to your friend's world, you'll be able to connect to their world using Hytale's built-in systems. And if you want to experience more of the online community, it appears Hytale will have a robust system in place for connecting you with the servers of all different types, from adventure mode to minigame servers to finding ones with tags like most popular or ones with language support. And of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you're looking to host a server of your own, whether it be just a private server for you and your friends, 
or a fully modded server open to the public, you can easily do so with Server Pro's hosting service. They have free accounts available as well as paid services so that you can scale your server up or down based on your Hightail server needs. And otherwise, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to Server Pro for hosting this video. Keep an eye out for our blog post that should be coming up soon later this week. And otherwise, I will catch you guys soon. Have a good one.